State Representative Brendan Gilmore for that wonderful introduction. Thank you so much. She and I have known each other for quite a while. Before I get into a little two-minute spiel, I, I've got to tell the story because I tell it all the time. And I know that the vice mayor has to go. Thank you so no, much for coming. I'm, I'm, I'm here with you. Choice of food. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, before we get into it, I, I, I just want to tell the story. Is that I, I was at McDonald's and there was a car wash, a charity that was going on, and I saw that there was a silver Acura. But I didn't think that the silver Acura was about to get a car wash. I thought the silver Acura was in line to get some food. So I pulled my car around the silver Acura in front of it and, and, and put my car to get my car wash. All of a sudden, here comes this beautiful woman with a bunch of little short haircut, similar to yours. And she said, excuse me, young man, did you not see my car was sitting there waiting on this car wash? And she said it in a way that I had to say, I am so sorry. And she said it so nice and so kind. And after I recognized that I had gone around her, she said, I'm running for Metro Council <laughs> And when that began a friendship that day, we were using friends ever since and helped her win that race. She took on an incumbent and won and has served this community so well. And we just congratulate you, Brenda, on all your service and all your accomplishments that you've had because you put the community first and we appreciate you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Well, this is our first event, but you know, I'm so excited because it's our event. And somebody said, you know, Jerry Maynard running for council at large, but I always look at it that this is not about me, but it's about our city. And as some of you all know me better than others because I have so many friends here and we'll try to acknowledge some. I don't want to leave anybody out, but I just appreciate everybody that's here. This is just a this is humbling and I'm honored that so many people, friends, would come for this event. I appreciate it because I know you didn't come for the chicken wings. So I just appreciate <laughs> that you all would come out on this night and celebrate the announcement. As you all know, we announced today at 10 o'clock at the public library of our campaign for at large. Some people have asked me, why am I running? Well, before I answer that, as a husband, uh, my wife, Teresa, I want to give honor to her and thank her for standing by me. <laughs> the reason why I'm running is because of the person that's in my arms. I care about this city and I care about my son. He's two years old, and I want an opportunity for him to grow in the greatest city in the United States. The greatest city for everybody, not just for some aspects, not just for some neighborhoods, not just for some parts of town, but every part of town, I want them to have the opportunity of love, a healthy neighborhood and community, a great education. Because when you have that, along with hope and faith, you can accomplish extraordinary things. I'm here to tell you, I came to Nashville in 1995 with no money. Lee Mollett and I are best friends because he came to he had a little more money than I had. <laughs> but we had no money. No, he and I used to talk. We had no money. And we came here. And Nashville has treated us with tremendous love. They embraced us. You all said, hey, you know, the sky's the limit. And we had opportunity. But it's because we came from an environment, a neighborhood, a family, community, that told us we could accomplish anything. Whatever we dreamed, we could be it. And when we came to Nashville, Nashville gave us that great opportunity. And I want to make sure that everybody has that opportunity similar to my son. There are children who are growing up that don't have a father in a the household. They should still have the same opportunity. There are children that don't grow up in the same type of household with the same income as my family. They should still have the opportunity. It doesn't matter whether you live on the north side of town or the east side of town. You should have the opportunity to accomplish your dreams. So that's why we're fighting for health care, education, public safety. We're fighting for affordable housing. Specifically, I want to go over a couple programs that we have in mind, that we're specific about. I'm so excited about bringing back vocational education and career education to public schools. If you all elect me, <laughs> there are some kids who simply don't want to go to college, but they need to have some value in their diploma when they graduate. The dropout rate is unacceptable, and I believe that if students knew that they can go and learn masonry and carpentry and mechanics and cosmetology and all those other things. They may not want to go to college, but if they can learn those skills and then get certified and then say, hey, if I stay here, stick with it, graduate, I can make $25 to $40 an hour building that great uh, uh, National Convention Center, 
or building that huge 70 story skyscraper or building whatever these buildings that we're going to be building in the next five to ten years. I believe that the students will stay in school because they have hope and faith that their diploma will have value at the end of their four years when they graduate. So we're going to bring vocational education and career education back to Metro schools. I know I don't serve on the school board. They can get mad at me if they want to. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, so we're going to work hard on that. And the other thing is, is that we want to make sure that we have an environment with the community, uh, regional community centers. I've got my good friend Brian Tibbs, who is architectural design for the, community, the regional center here at Hadley Park. When we get those community centers all around, we need to have senior citizens in there like they are. But we also need to have our young people in there. We need to have our middle-aged people in there. We need to have the whole community so that they can learn and see role models. And that's what I want our children to be able to see, role models as they go into these community centers, learn history from the senior citizens and wisdom, but then also see some, you know, <coughs> middle-aged folks who made it, that they can tell their story, and there's some younger adults who can help some of our younger kids. And I believe that those regional centers should be utilized so that we, in turn, again, can give hope and opportunity to all Nashvilleians. I want to thank a lot of people here on today. Thank you so much. Uh, there's so many people, elected officials, the vice mayors here. Thank you so much. Bob Dozier was here earlier today, Carl Dean was here, Mike Jamison is here, our council person also representing uh, uh, David Briley, I believe, can I say that? Okay. <laughs> now also have Linda who's representing Diane Neighbors who is here as well. We have any other candidates that are running, any other candidates I want to recognize because I know how hard it is to be out here running. Any other candidates? I, I would recommend, Harold, go ahead. I don't want to take away from Jerry's situation here. I'm running for the 21st District Council seat now. Okay, anybody else know about that? Any other, any other? All right. And also, first now I want to take this opportunity. I thank uh, my wife. I'd like to thank and give honor to all the pastors that are here, my colleagues who are in the trenches every day fighting, uh, fighting for our communities. So the other leaders that are here, uh, I want to also give thanks to you. I also uh, thank the members of our church for being here over here in this little corner over there. I want to thank the members of our church who came and supported us. I already said about my, my, one of my best friends, Lee Mollett, who's here, has, has been with me. I also have my other dear friend, my fraternity brothers, and also my brothers in Kappa Alpha Psi and Alpha Phi Alpha and all. <laughs> 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 all the brothers that are there, <laughs> all the sororities, of course. We have no division. <laughs> no, no division. <laughs> Dr. Leonard Webster, who is also here, appreciate it. Another good friend. I'd like to uh, thank also the staff as I close. Most times when I speak, I say, I'm not going to raise an offering. I'm not going to say that today. <laughs> but before we raise an offering, let me about the tune right now. <laughs> well, it's time for, no, I'm just joking. Let me thank Claudia Weaver, our campaign manager, who's been working for the last year. Thank you so much. Beth Albert, God bless you. Thank you so much for all your work. to our core group of leaders who have been meeting, and I want to thank all of you all who have helped and stepped it up because it's going to take all of us, it's going to take all of us, to my colleagues, Brita Blair and Vion from the Tennessee Democratic Party, Chip Forrester, the treasurer of the Tennessee Democratic Party. Oh, by the way, I want to thank my good, dear friend, good, dear friend, my Republican friend, Al Bodie, would you please stand up? Yeah. 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 Nonpartisan race. <laughs> and I've got an elephant right here that's going to go right there. You know, but, we, uh, but we appreciate it because we understand that the city is for everybody. And we hope that this, no one will get in, let partisanship get in the way. But I thank Al Bodie for coming and joining us as well. I want to say we have some more food. Claudia, am I forgetting anything? Oh, she wants to remind us. If you can, write a check today. Uh, we would appreciate it. It's going to cost $80,000 to run this race. We're doing uh, well. I've been on the phone for the last two weeks calling and calling and calling. I'll be calling all of you. But we need two things, people capital and financial capital. And if you cannot give a contribution, please volunteer. But if you can contribute and volunteer, we'd rather you have, you have you do that. Pastor Brooks just walked in the house. God bless you, Pastor. Thank you so much for coming. Billy Sanders, my neighbor, just we thank you. She's my neighbor. Thank you for coming. Greg Ramos is in the back. Hey, man, thank you so much. And so I just want to thank everybody that is here again. Please give a check. I'm supposed to say it three times. Please give money to the campaign. It's, we're going to run it. It's going to be a great, great campaign. Thank you. If you have any questions, I'll be able to answer it. It should be bringing some more pasta back. But if you have any questions, I certainly will answer it. And by the way, this is Jordan. Yay, Jordan. Yay.